Guess what? I'm in Edinburgh. Very exciting. Um, yeah, look, I just wanted to say a quick hello to everyone at home, um, anyone else who's watching this, um, and uh, just say that I've arrived in Edinburgh and I'm very excited, and um, to show off the flat that I've and the view that I've got um, for the next three weeks, um, just before the rest of the My Duty Journals gang arrive and wreck the joint. So um, let's have a little look. I'll start out, well, obviously, we can't go past the mirror um, with the driftwood. Very lovely. I like it. I hope you do too. Um, and then I suppose we should uh, move on to the lounge room, which is here and is red, which is very fitting for me, um, which is very lovely. And um, we've got a lovely, comfortable sofa bed, which will be accommodating a number of people in the coming days and weeks. We have the hub nerve centre of the My Judy Journal uh, extravaganza. Um, been doing a little bit of last minute research and marketing, um, including getting some t-shirts ordered. I noticed in my very short time here <coughs> in a sojourn down to the uh, Royal Mile that um, if you're not wearing a t-shirt, nobody really looks at you. So I've got a t-shirt organised. A little cheeky monkey upside down there. Um, we've got a telly which I'm very excited about because I've just found out that um, Doctor Who will be screening while I'm here in the last couple of days of my tour here. Um, so that's very exciting. Forget about the festival. I'm going to be seeing Doctor Who. Um, we've got some participant passes for some free events. Uh, I've got one today at 3 o'clock. First time at the Fringe. That's me. It's my first time at the Fringe. Uh, we have some participant passes which unfortunately don't get us into any free shows, but um, apparently we do get some discounts across town, so I'll make sure we, we take advantage of those. Now this is the exciting thing. I mean, yeah, it's a window seat, but I mean, I was excited by that, but the best thing is the view out the window. <gasps> oh, yep, that is Arthur's seat. I believe it's in Holyrood Park. I might have that wrong, but um, I just think that is absolutely breathtaking. And I don't know if you can tell from this video, I can see them, but it's really quite scary because all across the top are people just standing, and I don't think there are any barriers. People just stand on the top of that thing, and if I look long enough, I sometimes worry that I might see one person just jump off, so I try not to look for vast amounts of time. It might might put me off. I've just seen something else. I don't know if um, you can see it from here. I think there's a bit of a port over there. No, you probably can't see it. But I can see water, which is very exciting. But yeah, so that's the view I have for the next three weeks, which is very exciting. A bit of a street view. And this is um, St. Leonard Street, which if you go up to the left, keep going up, is uh, becomes the Pleasance, which is a very, very famous fringe venue area. Um, let us quickly check out the rest of the joint before I bore you. Um, we'll quickly, I just love this place, I'm very happy. Um, if we go here, that's the front door, we're seven flights up on a circular staircase, so I'm going to be pretty bloody fit by the time I get home. The blue room, my bedroom, lovely comfortable bed, very tastefully decorated, bit of a seat, bit of a desk where I've got some more Judy Journals paraphernalia, including the journal in question. Not the original, but it's very pretty. Um, another lovely window seat and another beautiful view of Arthur's seat. We've got the rest of the room, bit of a shelf, the bed again, a bit of laundry in the corner, a bit of a mirror, pictures of me and Bonesy, wardrobes, back on through here. Quickly show you the bathroom, which is very nice. The bath and everything. I think the funniest thing, well I thought it was a bit funny, is that the floor is carpeted. You don't usually see that in a bathroom, but <laughs> they do here in Edinburgh. Um, there's a toilet of course, we don't need to see that. There is a lovely kitchen. I apologise I haven't done the dishes. <laughs> it's not unusual. Lovely decorated, lovely cooker, everything you need in a kitchen. We've got a little European laundry here, fridge, microwave, plastic bag, 
never have too many of them. Um, chest of drawers, and this is the second bedroom. And look, this is actually, when I found this place on the internet, this is why I decided on it. No, it's not the chair. Look. Yep. Yep. It's a bed on stilts. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so a number of people will get to enjoy the stilt bed while they're here. I'm sure someone may need to sleep on a mattress right here as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the second bedroom and they've got a lovely view out here as well of some lovely old buildings and some garden scenes. Just lovely. Don't know which view I prefer actually. That's very nice. So yeah, so then that's just a very quick tour of the Edinburgh abode where I'll be for the next three weeks. Um, but yeah, so I'll just go back to the mirror so I can say goodbye. But yeah, so um, I'm here and we've got a couple of days of rehearsing and last minute planning for publicity and trying to sell some tickets. And then we start on the 10th, so less than a week now. Um, so yes, very excited and um, so thank you to everyone who's helped me get here and anyone who's even bothered just watching. Um, and I will keep you up to date with how things are panning. I'll see you later. Bye.